Alright, and welcome back to another episode of Cooperatives, playing Day of the Tentacle. Uh, I did a dumb thing last time, it didn't save. So, uh, you know, played through real quick, and hopefully we won't have any more problems like that. But if I miss something, you know, uh, you can look, just let me know. Touch. Anyway. Hey, Alright, so it's time for me to go collect that. some more shit as Hoagie. Hoping, uh, I can find some more stuff so that... The Constitutional Convention invites your comments. So that uh, we can amendment to the Constitution. Complete the, his part of the story for right now. Long story short, I need to make sure that we can get that log from Thomas Jefferson, and we need to start a fire for uh, John Hancock. I get some spaghetti. Pick up the oil. Can't do anything with that yet. Store. Pick up that bucket. Uh, I think we can open that cabinet and grab some soap, maybe? A brush. Yeah, just as good. Okay, now that we've got that brush, we're gonna head out here. We're going to pull up our inventory, use the bucket with the water pump. We're gonna hit bump that water bump. Hit bump that water pump. Yep. Hit bump that water pump. Hit bump that water pump. Okay. And I think we can have Hoagie shimmy up the fireplace. Yeah. That's our man. Yep. Well, he's a little bit big. Don't get stuck. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Alright, and let's go ahead and open this window. It's already open. Maybe we'll see if we can open that window. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and... See if we can walk through that window. Go, Hoagie, go! So now we got a bucket of red paint. We're gonna pick that up. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can actually use these beds, but. Eh. Anyway, let's go through this trapdoor. There's a cat. We'll try and, uh, we'll mess with him later. But right now, I don't have a whole lot I can do with him. Alright, just click to go through the door. Duh. Meanwhile, 400 years later. Get me down from here! Aw, oh, poor Laverne. She's stuck up there. Okay, and there's a glass for the horse, who I believe we can talk uh, to. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi yourself. Oh yeah, he's got that gruff accent. Nice tea. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Aw, good for you. I didn't think horses could talk. Yeah, I didn't talk. think horses could talk either. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. That's a good point. You mean horses, horses have dicks. been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. What's, What's a, a nice, nice horse, horse like you, you doing, doing in a place, place like, like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying, I'm trying to get, get back, back to the, the future, future and save the, the world. world. I gotta stop narrating over him. His voice is a lot better than mine. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Good answer. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Alright, so I don't remember how. We're gonna get his teeth. Oh, Hoogie, you 
she's so confused. They twins. The question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Ned and Jed Edison. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. So, what I'm going to wind up doing is switching out his left-handed and right-handed mallet so that they switch places so that in the future, their bodies will just reverse on a statue that's stuck inside um, one of the Edison wives' offices. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Marble delivery man. Or the model. Anyway, I can't do it Sorry, just yet. Hope I haven't jostled you. What a douche. When do we have control back? Too late. Okay, so anyway, we're going to go find the left-handed or right-handed mallet. I don't remember which one's which, but I think we get it out of one of these rooms. Actually, I lied. It's in the basement. I believe we can pick up that wine bottle. I believe we can look at the kite plans. I don't quite see how it can fly. And I'm pretty sure we can Better use it with not. that. Oh, might invalidate no. the patent. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. <laughs> oh, it's just a coffee stain. Good job, Hoey. Okay, well, anyway, we got the wine. The wine is important for something later. There we go. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working. Oh hey, look at that! It's Betsy Ross. Hey, chill. Take your time. She's gonna make us a cool Don't tell flag. Me another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. Yeah. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? have a chrome-plated bald eagle, skull with like scorpions in its mouth, it should have a hologram on it somewhere. We need a babe in a leather yeah. bikini swinging a broad axe. Good job, Betsy. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Yeah. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. What a poor overworked woman. Anyway, we don't have a flat plan for it just yet, so we're gonna keep going. And we're gonna open this door, which I believe is one of the Edison's doors. Nope, George Washington. Anyway, we're gonna push George to bed. We're gonna ring for the maid. Here I am. Don't Good get your thing she's in blind. Door. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Oh, yeah. So dirty. Right, anyway, we're going to head out here. We're going to look at the maid's cart. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Yeah, we're going to pick up that soap. Alright. Well, time to go check out... Uh... Red Edison's basement. Go, Hoagie, go! And I believe we get to go talk to Red Edison. He seems busy. Hey. What is it? Oh man, look at that menacing thing as he just goes into his pocket. You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. 
I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Red Edison. Dimension owner of this inn. Dimension. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some no, important scientific journal. I don't think that's the case. They, they don't do pictures. It's paintings. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Yeah. I think Franklin? he knows Ben Franklin. Huh? I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. <laughs> he has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. You mean the things that make Star Wars great? What are you doing? I love that. I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? I'd like to know that too. It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Oh. What are you inventing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. I think it's a staple? Anyway. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, they're artists. Maybe it appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Nobody likes artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left hand. Sad when a father can't tell his sons apart. There must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Oh yeah, because left-handed people are the devil. Well, see yep. you later. That's right. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Yeah. Oh, hoagie. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Good job, now, Red. All I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. All right. Well now, I think we have some oil. I think we have some vinegar. Oh right, that's wine. My bad. Oil. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Yes. Let's go look at the bulletin board. It's covered with plans and junk. Plans and junk? Where's that? Oh, hey. Remember how I said we needed that hammer? Let's pick that up. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, uh, yeah. Father-son hate. <laughs> Never good. Always makes me sad. No, in all seriousness, though, daddy-son issue things, they, they fuck me up so bad. He's not even funny. Alright, well anyway, so we got the left hand hand. We're gonna come up here to the artists. Which were in this door. Nope, that's Franklin. Nope, that's Betsy Ross. That means they're up here. Cool. Because George was down there in the bottom floor next. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. So we're gonna walk back here. Come up to the inventory. Swoop. Yep. There we go. And now suddenly he can't hit oh, the, no. the nail. My God. I've lost it. It's gone. I'll never, never be able oh, to make this painting work or sculpture work. You definitely won't make this painting work with that hammer. Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? All art is cruel. Oh. Poor Ned. I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be <laughs> scientists, not artists. Some were made to be dentists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. 
Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Oh, I like how I just pulled that out of his shirt. Yeah. I'm glad we switched places. All right. I think and now the hand arm, well. sword arm is on the wrong side. And in the future. Link. And no one's ever the wiser. Now, that'll be relevant when we go into the future. You might ask how we're going to get this uh, vinegar, I believe is what I need. Well, the answer to that is simple, my friends. We're going to actually stick it inside of a time capsule that you don't know about because I forgot to talk to Thomas Jefferson. So that's good. But before we do that, we're going to come out here to this cherry or apricot tree or whatever the hell it is. Oh yeah, before I do... Yeah, whatever, I can do this whenever. I'm going to make sure I add that soap to the that water's bucket. All sudsy now. Nothing to clean in here. Alright, well that's good. Come up here, we'll see this big old apricot tree. I'll paint it red. Slap. Yeah. Because that's how you make cherries. Fun fact, kids, that's how you make cherries. Red dye number four. Now that'll play a pivotal role inside of uh, getting Monsieur Washington to chop down this uh, cherry tree. So, before we do that, we'll come back over here. Give this bottle of wine to Thomas Thank Jefferson. You. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Oh, Whoa. you have no idea, Mr. Jefferson. Now, let's come back over here to talk to Mr. Washington. Excuse me. Yes. Is it true about, about you and the, the cherry, cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Why, yes. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Uh, well, I think the best way to say is, uh... What are you looking at out there? I think the best way to get him to do it is to tell him he's not gonna do the it. The future of our nation. That young couple by the tree? <laughs> no, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Oh, Striking, yeah, that's George. I? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Yeah. Well, I bet you've lost it. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Heh. <laughs> lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. Good job, Mr. Washington. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There yeah, previously, if you just do this, there. I'll tell you you can't chop down a cherry tree because there are no cherry trees. Well, let's go well chop the let me tell down. you, there are cherry trees all over the goddamn place when I've got red paint. Go, Mr. Washington. Good job. I said come down from there at once. Hey, this is how we unlock Laverne. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... And there it's gone. I think time travel works like this. Wink. Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Good job, Mr. Washington. And 
right now, I've got LeBaron. Scratch one kumquat tree. Oh, it was kumquats, that's what it was. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is come over to here. Look at the toilet. No, I was gonna put something in there. I'm gonna put that spaghetti in the toilet. Okay, that's gonna I go to Laverne. Uh, yeah, we'll come back up here to learn. Oh, Get me oh right, she's stuck in here. here. I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something, or you wouldn't be here now, would you? Yeah. And now we've got all these the poor water, little lessons. Getting dressed up for the human show. Owner, no one owns me. Yeah, she's a free woman. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Oh, uh, yeah, we're in like a human kennel. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Eh. I feel like that's gonna be me someday. Anyway, so now that we've got her unlocked, we'll come back here to. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. Good. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. Diamond. Now we've got a little and bit of stuff we can do with Bernard. Needs power too. Bernard's if got. Uh... Alive. alive. Yeah, Bernard's got quite the. Uh... Task ahead of him. We got Dr. Fred over here drinking his coffee. Nah, no point in doing that right now. Head upstairs. Hurry up, Bernard. You fat slug. You're not fat, Bernard. I'm sorry. That was mean. In any case, we're gonna come over here. Gonna open up these doors. Boy, you yeah. missed the party. We got Ben Franklin's great, 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 great grandson. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. Yeah. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. That sounds like fun. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories. Oh, good. He's importing them from Cuba. Oh, want a cigar? What if this is before the, uh... Well, I mean, how do you even... Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Oh, yeah. Go, Bernard. You're gonna get shot in the face. It's gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Bam! Well, you still do. Right. Man, that's how I lost the game, guys. <laughs> ben Franklin loves this. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. <laughs> Man. That cracks me up every time. Great job there, kid. Table covered with dung, disgusting mounds of party garbage, vat of teeth. So what we're gonna need to do is come down this way. We're gonna open up this grating. There we go. Now we're gonna walk back this way. We're gonna fuck these teeth. Oh, look at him go. Oh my, oh my. Man, let's pick him up. Yeah, screw you teeth. Okay, well, I think we can come pick up this fork. Can't fully remember what those. I'll pick up the decaf coffee. Let's go the regular two. I don't have to use the microwave yet. 
come in here to the door, look around. We're gonna use this at some point, but there should be something in here I can pull out. Ah, funnel. What do I use the funnel for, you ask? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it's a swinging door, so I don't have to, like, push it open. Go me. Now I'm gonna find a gun to swap that out with. I'm also gonna get a yank this crank. Taking out the crank. Taking a crank. I think I can open this I window. Oh, no. Stuck. Well, good. Let's open this window. It's already open. Well, let's head Not through much this window. To see in the A door. Not a whole lot going on in this room. Yet. Uh oh. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at the scene. Oh god. This is how Trump got elected. Oh man. There's some sad truth to that now. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna get him down. Alright, well, let's open the door in here and figure out what's going on. Oh, hey, yes. Aren't you weird, weird Ed, Ed and the paramilitary nut? nut? Well, he tries yes, to kill us I... in uh, Maniac Mansion, Do which I this is a computer you? behind us that'll actually let us play. Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Oh man, Bernard, you're a nice guy. Mm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Well, that would make sense, buddy. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those uh, bad geez. thoughts anymore. Oh. Well, that's good. Now I collect stamps. Good job, Ed. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? Ooh, does he no, do tricks? I used to have a really smart hamster, but something. Uh, yeah. I wonder what happened, what happened to, him. to him. Wonder if that was me. Yeah, well, anyway, well, I can't do anything here yet. Too excited. Unless I can take the hamster, but I don't think I can. Peace be with you. We'll see if I can take it. Oh, I can. Cool. Yoink. Let's see if I can open this door. Let's see what's going on here. Will she kick me out yet? Yeah, I can push her. Back off, lady. Although I should have hit that uh, well, you know arm say. and swung back in. Knock me out. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. That they do, Bernard. That they do. Alright, so anyway, there's a VCR in here. Can't do anything with that yet. And downstairs. I believe this door has somebody sleeping in it. Or it's Green's room, I Green! can't. Ah, yeah. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be fine, Green. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? <laughs> what do you suppose Purple's up to now? That's a good question. Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. He's always up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? That's me. I wouldn't doubt it, but I'm crouching with freezing answers. That's me. Politics. 
Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. Nope. See you all later. Right. Well, anyway, all these questions yeah. are not Good luck in saving conducive the world, to this. But I've got some things in here I need to take real quick. Sample that videotape. I'm going to pick that up. Come over here, push this speaker over. Ball, but I'm not sure. It looks too heavy for me to pick Aww. up. Aww. You crazy old man. It's pretty small. I mean, an old man, Bernard. Anyway, we're going to turn the stereo on and blast our ears out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Good job, Bernard. You get the fake vomit. <sighs> And not that I don't like that music, but uh, we're done here. Whew. All right, well, got a little bit more to do before we're gonna call it a day here. I think we can get the coin return on Except this. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Oh no, no, you know what? We're not, we're not ready for that yet. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. Oh man. Got the old How man gonna kill himself. How terrible. It's a fun hmm. prank. I can't even do this right. You know, the uh, graphic salesman. Okay, well, we're gonna pick up that disappearing ink. I'm not gonna bother talking to him. He's just depressing. And then we're gonna realize I'm an idiot and I forgot to do stuff. We're going off well. Now let's open this door. Get in here. Uh, there's a diamond on TV. I think we can turn that on. We're gonna have to rattle this old man off. No good. I can't knock it over. This beautiful four thousand yeah. carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two, two million, million dollars. The number to call is one one eight hundred Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay. Alright, so, one of the few times in this game it's actually beneficial to close that door. And we're gonna pick up those keys. Now we're gonna open that door. We're gonna open this door. And unfortunately, Mr. Hamster, it's time for you to be cryogenically frozen. Boy. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Yeah. Gonna make you feel good in the future, buddy. Oh, no. And we will close the ice machine. We're gonna head downstairs. Get back into the dark secret passage, because I'm a dumbass. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Ah. Alright. Head back over to the Chrono Jam. Okay, and we're gonna come back to Hoagie real quick, because he's gonna pick back up that spaghetti. Which became wet, soggy noodles. In fact, they're not for him. Anyway, we gotta get this letter to Bernard. <laughs> We're also gonna come back over here to Hoagie. Get down to this disgusting looking horse and carriage. Might be a little bit early for this. Wash the shit for you. Dum -dum. 
Because every time you wash your car, it rains. Just the way it Looks works. like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Man. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. All right. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. Jonathan, the science of you know electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. All right, and this is where we're going to call it a day today. You, uh... Hopefully got a pretty good idea of just the kind of weird shit we're gonna have to do when we get a little bit further. Yeah. Alright, well, this is a uh, Day of the Tentacle, and this has been Burtis, so uh I'll catch you guys later. Bye. The number to call is one.